I'm Clanker, which is garbage grinder. Clanker not like dirty water. Want fresh air. This, I recall this thing well. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Banjo-Kazooie. Ah, uh, this is going to be so much fun. I love Banjo-Kazooie so much. In the last episode here, we completed Treasure Trove Cove. And today we are going to be making our way to the third world of the game. One that a lot of people I've noticed online have actually missed. Uh, the most notable one that I know of is Chugga Conroy from the Runaway Guys. They actually did a, a series of Andrew Kazooie recently, and Chugga had mentioned how he had missed the third world growing up. He also said he never really finished the game. It's been a while since I watched the video, uh, but it's something that I found interesting. That is saying press Z to put all the pieces. It really does sound quite absurd. Adventure of a bear and bird? Bottles was saying you can press the Z button or in our case the ZL button in order to put all the pieces in at once. I personally like putting in all the pieces in manually so that I can see where all the pieces go. Now, while we have the opportunity and the jiggies, I'm also going to showcase where the fourth painting is in this episode. So, we are back here outside of Treasure Trove Cove's uh, sub area, and down in the water, we have this tunnel here. Now, we're going to swim all the way through. Oop. I just swam into a wall. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that's right. I might as well showcase what we found here. This isn't World 4. I totally forgot about this. This is World 9. I can't wait till we get to here. Listen to those flutes. Do, 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 do. It should be knowledge by now that you've listened to Gruntilda's Lair's theme, that it sounds reminiscent to the children's uh, nursery rhyme, Teddy Bear Picnic. If you go out to the woods today, you'll be sure to be in. Surprise. Get, get out of here, Gruntling. And I think it's because Grant Kirkhope actually... He didn't sample it, but he wanted to make Gruntilda's lair sound like this magical nursery rhyme place. You've activated a magic cauldron. That is different from the previous magic cauldron we had found. Just to clarify, previously we found a pink cauldron. Now we found a very deep red. Lucky you, I'm an invulnerability feather. Bottles will tell you more. Will he? Will he really? I don't know. The mole seems a little sketch. He seems soft. He might be an imposter. Among us. So right over here we have... Our first switch, which raises the piping to reach Clanker's Cavern. That is the tunnel that takes us to Bubble Gloop Swamp. Which is World 4. We're going to activate this switch. And, you know, we have the time. You side with Banjo, but change tack. Imagine you on Grunty's back. I'm pretty sure uh, Kazooie wants to peck your back rather than be on it. Grunty wears massive bloomers under that repulsive dress of hers. 
I don't need to know what kind of underwear she's wearing. She's also got this nasty pet dog whose name is Big Naka. My sister sings her in her own band, Grunty and the Monster Mob. They're awful. You know, music is very subjective, Brentilda. She might actually be a grunge rock group. <laughs> ah, I get it. Because she she smells grunge rock. <laughs> Welcome to Clanker's Cavern. Just the one just the one new move to find this time, but it's hidden well. Is it? We got ourselves more crabs. And this is an interesting world. So we've had two very natural, open worlds. And this world is so grungy and gross. You are actually in a sewer. And it's just so gross. The foul water. The music is great. It really puts into the tone. Just... How grungy this world is. Rust is on everything. Do, 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 do. I think they use this musical font in a later world too. Cause some worlds I I have noticed, some worlds do have similar music musical fonts. Which is to say that they have similar tones, instruments. That sort of stuff. I'm not a musical expert, this is just me making a note. A musical note. Oh, that could have been bad. Okay. I'm Planker, which is garbage grinder. Planker not like dirty water. Want fresh air. This, I recall this thing well in another YouTuber's first playthrough, Lucagen. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Lucagen is terrified of water. Uh, bless her soul for at least attempting to play this game with her. I believe sh he was her husband at the time, at that point. Uh, Proton John. Uh, bless her heart for playing this game with him because of her fear of water. And she tried her best, for sure. Uh, she was terrified of seeing this thing in the water. It's not an enemy, it's literally just a piece of architecture to the stage. But I could imagine a first time player's reaction to this thing being akin to that. So what we're going to do is start off big. We're going to help Clanker. And to help Clanker, I do want to get into a better position. Now this is also rather common knowledge about Banjo Kazooie, but there is a texture of Clanker found where he has very organic material on him. He's not a um, metal-based fish, and it just it made the character even more sad come on i'm trying to use the r rotation to just make swimming through the key very quick i love keys this for me the key in the anvil was like top quality now we got ourselves a Jiggy on top of his back. But we're not done down here yet. As you can tell, we have musical notes we have to claim. Mm -hmm. 
And I just want to make sure that I do it with... Okay, good. Hi, I'm Gloop. Grab my bubbles if you're low on air. Why, thank you, Gloop. Makes me wonder why you're not in Bubble Gloop. Also, this music has become quite terrifying. There's this high pitch squealing. Come on. Let's get the Jinjo next. Jinjo! Whee! Okay. Let's get the rest of the notes. This is actually very terrifying. I'm not good in under pressure. Breathing down on me. Under pressure. But if you take your time and go for the air bubbles often, ugh, then you should not have anything to worry about down here. Okay. I, while I'm on the topic real quick, and not to discredit Lucajin, because obviously, bless her soul, love her, love watching her videos. I don't think she has a fear of water. I think she's a thalassophobe. She has a fear of deep water. To the, in a, in a sense, water that is deep enough that she can swim in. I think that's what she has a fear in. Because, obvious, I don't think she's afraid of, like, bath water, or shower, or, like, a pond or a puddle. But she's afraid of getting under the water. There's a term, I looked it up, not recently, but I use it in character design as a character flaw for, for characters who don't go near deep water. It's... One of the traits I give them so that they're dynamic, and when I need to, there's a story plot that takes them to deep water. And so I can express that, uh, that fear. Okay, so. I'm getting turned around now. So there are two parts to this stage. The stuff on the outside as well as within Clanker himself. Now, before we go... D again, love Lucagen, and again, bless her heart for playing this game. She even played Tui, but <laughs> she had given uh, extra credit to John to play all of... Uh, Jolly Rogers Lagoon in that game because that is all water. <laughs> Anyways, love Lucagen, and again, no discredit to her. Everybody has their own faults. Mine is spiders. Can't stand them. Actually, it's all kinds of bugs. Snippet mutants are we. Jigsaw is ours. Bite us, you must. Okay. Ooh. Ah. Rude. Take that. Okay. So this is going to be another Jiggy. We just have to... They're radioactive. I don't think you can see the glow of their radioactiveness in... Uh, the remakes. S beaten snippet mutants we are. Yours is prize. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. 
This is the episode I talk about other Let's Players. It's fine. I want to meet them one day, because, like, my god, I love seeing their work. It's always fun. It's a great... It's a great little thing to listen to in the background when doing other things, too. It's always good to engage. They're so... They, they feel so friendly. In fact, uh, in a week's time from today, I believe the Runaway guys are doing their Coliseum. Obviously, it's going to be a few weeks ago. But their channel will be uploading will be uploading their segments in the coming of weeks. Which is super cool. I did see this right inside this pipe. Is a golden honeycomb piece. Okay. I know that somewhere in one of these pipes below is more music notes. Is it this one? Yes. Come on. Real life. Perfect. I don't need red feathers, so let's stop collecting those. Okay. I want to finish all of the underwater stuff. So, that was the Snippet Mutants. Then we have this tunnel. Which I think this is going to have blue Jinjo. Yes. Okay. Next opening. Oop. Get out from under the rock. That opening is not helpful, but this one. I think it's short because it has a mumbo token. Yes. Still always good to collect these. We now have enough to deal with the transformation in the in one of the next worlds. World 5. If we skip World 4's transformation, that is. So then this way takes us back out. Then we have a gate because we need to go diving through another tunnel. Then I'll be able to do more stuff on the surface. Come on. Go fast. Perfect. Uh, the reverse camera is what screws me over in this segment. But I think we're going to make it out. Perfect. Okay. So... Next, let's deal with one other thing on Clanker's back, which is the screw. It blasts us up, and I even miss. How could I miss? So this is where holding down the R button actually is beneficial. Because you can twist the camera to refine your walking. Oh. 
there we go. I did want to showcase the benefits of using the R button over the C stick slash button. I don't want to go inside yet. While we're here... Oh, oops. Oop. Okay. Oh, this tooth not hurt anymore. Okay, it's the wrong side. I'm gonna do it this way because of the fact that it's difficult to get back out of Clanker's mouth when it is time to... go, uh, to go into the mouth. So what I'm just trying to do is get the jiggy. Da -da, ba -da 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 -da. Perfect. Okay. Now let's do the stuff that's around him. Right up here, we have... I don't remember... I think those are called chompas. The green eel things. We have ourselves a wall uh, platform section. Getting really lucky with gold feathers. In fact, we're almost at max. Okay. So, that covered that. I believe we have two more areas over here. Then we can go inside, and the way we're gonna go in is through the blowhole. Oop. Clanker, I need a fin! Help me! Take that, Chompa. Right over here we have... Oop, let's not miss more notes. More platforming. For eggs and a member token. A spot to collect more eggs. Now that we are in the third episode, I have a story to tell. When this game came out, and I didn't own it because we didn't own it for the original Nintendo 64, we only rented it, we did buy and obtain a Banjo-Kazooie uh, promotional video. don't need to go further there and what that what what you can look on look it up on uh, YouTube but the promotional video is some of the craziest video you'll ever see of someone trying to explain how amazing Banjo Kazooie is to just an audience I'm pretty sure the target audience was children because, I mean, I got it. I was able to convince my parents, I must have this VHS video of a game we don't even own. Okay. We have the witch switch. 
That's gonna bulge out some eyes. Ow. Ow. So, I actually owned it. I don't think I have it anymore. If I do, it is long packed away in some mysterious box somewhere. I'm going to utilize the flight pad and we're gonna go to the next sub area within Clankers right over here. And right here, we have bottles. How he has a molehill inside of a creature is beyond me. This move uses Kazooie's wings as a shield. Does it make me invulnerable? Sure does. Hold down Z and press the right C button. Keep Z held and use the control stick to move around. Use it wisely though, as this move requires gold feathers and you can only carry 10 of them. Here, take these five valuable gold feathers with you. Your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. You've learned all my new moves for this world. The rest is up to you. Why, thank you. Now, I know that you can technically make it through this without the gold feathers. We're just gonna make it easy. Run through the hallway with the gold feathers. And run back. Running back is the hard part. But again, you can technically do it. Okay, next. We have a fun little puzzle here inside Clanker's belly. Poor Clanka. I want to be able to see where I'm going next. We have 48 seconds to get through multiple rings. And I remember doing this as a kid, and it was so challenging. I always just barely complete it. Let's get to the surface. And right over here, we have our jigsaw. Ba -ba. Ba -da 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 -da. Now, the last jiggy we need is the Jinjo as well as the remaining notes. So right down here, we have a few more notes. We're gonna go to Planker's mouth next. Just because that is where more music notes are. So we're gonna go down here and up this, the esophagus. Okay, we made it. Collect more notes. All around the jawline. And then there's three notes remaining, and those are where the Jinjo are. So, swim back to the gut. The belly. Belly of the beast. Right up here, with the elevated water level, we have 
this. You found you found all 100 notes in this world. Well done. And because we're underwater, we don't get a a dance. So we are one one to one to three actually on Banjo Kazooie dances. Speedrunners will go with the uh, options that do not make Banjo and Kazooie dance because of time saving. I also believe that you only need 92 jigsaw pieces, so you don't need to complete every single world. I do because it's a huge demand to just complete everything already anyways. And that's it. That's Clanko's Cabin, by the way, guys. So that is three worlds done in 30 minutes each. Banjo-Kazooie is not a long game. It isn't until Banjo-Tooie that we will start to see a huge incline of length. Wow, your best note score for this world is now 100. Now, let's just showcase that. That's Grunty. Treasure Trove Cove. And Clanker's Cavern all complete. So guys, next time we're going to go to the fourth world, Bubble Gloop Swamp. And it is technically one world where we could potentially only finish at 9 out of 10 jiggies. I am going to attempt to do 10 out of 10 jiggies, but that is something that will come with time. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please leave a comment in the comment section below, mash the like button, and subscribe if you have not for more... You know what? Yeah, for more Banjo-Kazooie content. To end off this episode, I'm going to show you what happens when you quit the game, which is the same thing that happens when you lose all your lives. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Later! <laughs>